السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمدللہ کفا وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفاء اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم شہر رمضان اللذی انزل فیه القرآن ہدا للناس ہدا للناس و بینات من الہدا والفرقان الہ آخر الآیہ ریسپیکٹڈ برادرز ان اسلام I would like to say a few words about the importance of Ramadan and the rewards of fasting. As fasting month is coming to us after a few days. Fasting month which is called Ramadan. Only the Ramadan is written in Quran al Karim. شہر رمضان اللذی انسل فیہ القرآن Our Creator, Our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Ramadan is the month in which Quran was revealed Guidance for mankind Clear proof of guidance and criterion which can separate Haq from Baqil. This is called Furqan. Quranul Kareem was revealed in the month of Ramadan. That's why Ramadan has become the best of all months. Ramadan is the month of patience. Ramadan is the month of mercy, forgiveness, and freedom from hellfire. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, huwa shahr, awwaluhu rahmah, wa awsatuhu maghfira, wa akhiruhu itqum minan naar. Ramadan which has been divided into three parts. First part is called rahmah, mercy. And the middle part is called Maghvira, forgiveness. And the last part is called Aitkum Minan Naar, to be free from hellfire. No other month which is divided into three parts. Only Ramadan has been divided into three parts by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No doubt, this is the month of blessings. This is the month of forgiveness. This is the month of mercy. This is the month of sabr, patience. This is the month of getting extra rewards. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if anybody performs a nafal, optional, he will get the equal rewards of fards in another month. If anyone performs a fards in Ramadan, he will get equal rewards of 70 fards in another month. If anyone does a good deed in Ramadan, he will get the rewards of 70 good deeds in another month. So this is the month of getting bonus rewards, extra rewards. In this month, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides rahmah, provides honorable sustenance for his righteous servants. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Iza dakhala shahri ramadhan, futihat abuabu sama. اے ابواب الجنہ اے ابواب الرحمہ و غلقت ابواب جہنم و سلسلت الشیاطین 
Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when Ramadan comes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens the gates of Rahmah or gates of Jannah or gates of the skies and he closes the gates of hellfire and he chains the devils. So this is the good chance or golden chance for us to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to get extra rewards. As devils are not able to misguide us. Devils are not able to disturb us in our worships. So in this month, we should take a plan. What should we do in this month? First of all, we can in we can determine to keep fasting whole month. We can take intention to read Taravi Namaz in every night of Ramadan. We can complete full Quran Khatam from beginning till end. As we know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us rewards. For one good deed, he will give us 70 times more rewards. Even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Assawmu li wa ana ajzibi. Fasting is for me and I will give rewards for fasting with my own hand. This is actually good opportunities for us. This is a special mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala arranges some angels to provide peaceful wind for fasting people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands angels to decorate the Jannah at every night of fasting month for those people who are fasting. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us five special rewards which he didn't give to another prophets or another followers of another prophet. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, do you know what are the five special rewards? One is famous sa'im wa la khalufi famous sa'im atu yabu indallahi min reyh al misk. The other of fasting people which is purer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than mask, perfumes. And second special reward is every kind of creature, every kind of creatures makes dua for fasting people, even Fishes in the sea make magvarat for fasting people. Third reward is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens the doors of Jannah. 
He decorates the Jannah. He commands angels to decorate the Jannah in every night of fasting month. Fourth reward is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala closes the doors of hellfire. And last reward is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all of the sins of fasting people. And he will allow fasting people to special Jannah. Which is the special Jannah? What is this called? This is mentioned in Hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Hadith which has been reported by Sahal ibn Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna fil jannati samaniyatu abwaab. Minha baab yusamma rayyan. La yadghuluna fiha illa saimun. No doubt, Jannah has special eight gates. And one of the gates is called Rayyan. Nobody will be able to enter into this door except those people who are fasting. So Rayyan gate is preserved or reserved for those people who are fasting. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man sama ramadana imana wa ihtisaba ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min zambi. Wa man qama ramadana imana wa ihtisaba ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min zambi. Whoever keeps fasting with beliefs and sincerity, all of his previous sins will be forgiven. Whoever worships at the nights of fasting, all of his previous sins will be forgiven. No doubt in it. The great opportunity for the followers of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is whoever worships in every night of Ramadan, no doubt he will find Laylatul Qadr. What is Laylatul Qadr? What is the significance of Laylatul Qadr? Laylatul Qadr is the night in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed Quranul Kareem. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a surah which is called Surah Al Qadr. And in this surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the significance of Laylat Al Qadr. What is Laylat Al Qadr? What is the significance of Laylat Al Qadr? What do the angels do in this night? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr laylatul qadr khayrun min alf shahr tanazzal al malaikatu wal ruh fiha bi izni rabbihim min kulli amr salamun hiya hatta matul al fajr indeed i have revealed this book quran al karim at the night of Qadr, night of blessings, powerful night, glorious night. Wama adaraka ma Laylatul Qadr. Do you know what Laylatul Qadr is? Laylatul Qadr khayrum min alf shahr. Laylatul Qadr is better than thousand months. Tanazzalu al malaikatu wal ruh fiha bi izni rabbihim. Min kulli amr. In this night, 
all of the merciful angels come down with Ruh, with Jibreel Amin alayhi salam. By the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with every matter. Salamun hiya hatta matula il fad. And no doubt this is the peaceful night. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends blessings or peace till dawn, till fajr. So whole night is the full of mercy and blessings, which is called Laylatul Qadr, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed his book, his kalam, Quranul Kareem. So if we want to get, if we want to find out this blessing night, this blessed night, if we want to find in our life, we have no way without worshipping at every night of Ramadan. And if we can acquire this night, we must be successful. Because one night equal to 1000 months, subhanallah. About 84 years. My dear brothers in Islam, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Naumu sa'imi ibadah wa samtuhu tasbih wa dua'uhu mustajab wa amaluhu mudaaf. Naumu sa'imi ibadah Sleeping or fasting people is like worship. If you keep fasting, in the tariqah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, no doubt your sleeping will be like worship. If you sleep, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will write down for you the rewards of worship. Subhanallah. In every breath of you will be rewarded, will be turned into worship, subhanallah, worship of zikr, worship of tasbih, worship of maghfirat, istighfar. Naamu sa'imi ibadah wa samtuhu tasbih. And the silence of fasting people will be like tasbih. You will get the rewards of tasbih if you keep fasting in Ramadan. mustajab. And if you make dua, your dua must be granted and accepted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa amaluhu mudaaf. And your amal, your good deeds will be multiplied in many ways. One good deed equal to 70 good deeds in other months. My brothers in Islam. So this month is coming. We have to be prepared. We have to take a good preparation for Ramadan. To keep fasting. To read Taraweeh Namaz. To recite Quranul Kareem. To do Zikir, Duru, Tasbi, Tahli. Everything will be multiplied in many ways. Ten till seven hundred rewards you will be able to get for one good deed, subhanallah. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, this month is great month, shahrun azim, shahrun mubarak, blessed month. Fihi laylatul qadr, in it, 
there is a blessed night which is called Laylatul Qadr. Another rewards of fasting people is they will have two good news of happiness. One is at the time of iftar, whole day fasting people, he fasts. At the night of iftar, when the items of iftar comes in front of him, he becomes so happy after a few minutes, after a few seconds, he is going to eat and drink. And another good news of happiness is fasting people will meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Farhatun a'inda fitri wa farhatun a'inda liqa'i rabbi. My dear brothers, friends, and sisters in Islam, basically, Asiyamu Jannah, fasting is like a shield. It can protect yourself from bad activities, sexual efforts. It can protect yourself from telling lies, from backbiting, from telling rough words. Fasting doesn't mean to protect yourself from taking food, from sleeping, Actually, it doesn't mean fasting. Fasting, you have to protect yourself from every kind of bad deeds. Subhanallah. You have to control your hands from bad words. You have to control your eyes from seeing bad things, bad films. You have to control your legs from going bad ceremony bad confidence from drinking wine from playing gambling if you can protect yourself from any kind of bad activities it means your fasting is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, wa siyamu jannah wa iza kana yawmu sawmin ahadukum fala yarfas wala yaskhab fa in sabbahu ahadun aw qatalah fal yakul inni mri'in sa'im When Ramadan comes, a fasting people can't make quarrel with other people. He can't backbite. He can't say any bad words with his mouth. He can't swear other people. Even if anybody tries to quarrel with him, he should say, Inni No doubt, I am fasting. I am not allowed to quarrel with you, to swear you, to make any trouble. So my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, so let's come and be prepared for Ramadan. May Allah give us tawfiq ability to keep fasting to worship at the nights of ramadan amin ya rabbal alamin assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah